there's gonna be a meeting. Meeting. Yeah. Meeting. Way, way over yonder. Where we oh, oh. I won't have to cry no more. Oh, my Lord. We won't have to cry no more. I tell you, we won't, church. We won't have to cry no more. Hi, and welcome to another production of Kiss. That is keep it simple, sir. Keep it simple, senor. Sim simple, senorita. <laughs> Sisters and saints of Christ. Amen. We thank God. Just keeping it simple. Today we have a great production coming to you again. Uh, a reproduction of some great women in Zion in our country uh, by the name of Sisters for Real. Praise God. Praise and God. they're ready to fill your heart and soul and mind with information, spiritual edification today. So go tell someone, pick up the phone, tell someone to turn us on today. And if you're on YouTube, put it on pause. Run and get somebody to start enjoying this great production we have for you today. Amen. Today, we're going to let each person introduce themselves. Starting to my left and your right, we have Minister Anita Ward. We also have the Elder Shelley Gilbert. And also we have Minister Marcia Bowman. And also by Zoom, by the way, all the way from Florida, we have Minister Katie Hicks. It's one of those H's. <laughs> God bless you. Praise God. Minister, Minister Anita, introduce to yourself. Tell us some, introduce yourself for us today. Okay. Um, as he said, I'm Minister Anita Ward, and I'm here from Columbus, Ohio, where my church is the Freedom Center Church. Uh, my pastors are Apostle Anton and Pastor Erica Sampson. Um, and I am uh, one of the founders of Sisters for Real. All right. Praise God. Okay. Hi, my name is Shelley Gilbert. I'm also from Columbus, Ohio, Freedom Center, Freedom Center Church, <laughs> Apostle Samson and Pastor Erica Sampson. Praise God. My name is Marcia Bowman, Minister Marcia Bowman. I am from Dayton, Ohio. I am from Good Samaritan Baptist Church, where the pastor is Pastor Jeffrey T. Parks. And I am one of the members of Sisters for Real. Praise God. Well, you know, I, I thought maybe you would share more, so much about you that I guess you're going to share later with us, right? <laughs> and, and I don't know, we said ministers, but ministers, evangelists, and I didn't know it was evangelists here. And uh, the thing is, whether it's bishop or it's evangelist, whether whatever the title we may right. have, when it comes to ministry, it comes all the way back to servant. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And we realize that we are servant, called by the Most High, mm -hmm. to serve the great people that God has created. Amen. Amen. And now God, we are also refer to as ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Amen. In representing Christ. Yes. My God, I mean, that's a high calling. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. That is a greater calling in the United States than you as an ambassador to another Amen. country. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is the highest calling that we can have, to be called by God to Amen. do a work. Amen. Yes. And to yes. represent Him. Yes. Praise God. So yes. let, I'm do. telling you, I think, go ahead, get a little baby. Go ahead. <laughs> let Him have His way. <laughs> Praise God. God. God is so good, isn't yes, He? Yes, He is all the time. God, God is so God. good. Praise all God. All the time. I wonder why some people walk around frown looking down. <laughs> I don't serve a God. Mm -mm. That is Come a sad now. God. Come on now. Oh, we have hard times. Yes, Lord. We go through like anyone else. Amen. But there's joy in the morning. Amen. There is Amen. joy in our heart. Amen. For knowing yes, this is not the end. Amen. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm doing all the work because you guys come here to, to work with <laughs> the. Uh, okay, we didn't hear our Zoom guests introduce herself today. All the way from down there in Florida. Holy Please introduce yourself, Minister Katie Hicks. I'm Katie Hicks. I'm formerly of Dayton, Ohio. Let me let me plug that in. But uh, yes, I'm down here in Florida, uh, and I am one of the founders of Sisters for Real, Titus Two Ministry, Women's Ministry. Thank you, sir. Praise God. And I believe the subject today, 
The subject I've been given is called called, chosen, prepared, and sent. Mm -hmm. And the biblical scripture that we are given today, as I prompted probably get a chance to pull up here in a minute, comes from Ephesians, the fourth chapter. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. That's, Boy, that's no division in that. Talking about, I love that oneness. Mm -hmm, Is that right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boy, being one. Amen. Go Amen. ahead, talk to me now. Read the rest of the scriptures if you like. Okay. Well, you read the fourth uh, four first, What's so I'm going to read. Yeah, that's the fourth okay. verse. Uh, that's the one we agreed upon for you to okay. put on the prompter. So I'm going to read the whole thing. Um, it says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. For there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. That's one. That, that, that's a good thing. I don't mind being a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Amen. Come on now. So many people are prisoners of so many things, and they're proud. They're prisoner of the mind, prisoner of the body. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God. Prisoner mm -hmm. of so many different Amen. things that man, and that mind is one of the most detrimental things there is. Amen. 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 Praise God. You know, uh, Bishop Norton, we are about helping women. Okay. Helping women come up. Yes. And a, a lot of times I look at it this way, that I'm not all I can be until you're all you can be. Okay. Amen. And it's not, we don't have that crab mentality okay. where we're trying to pull somebody down okay. so we can rise on their back. Yes. We're trying to lift them up. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, I, I thank God for this theme that we have in on, on this year uh, called, chosen, prepared, and sent because there, there are many called. Okay. But there are a few chosen. Amen. Right. Amen. It's, it's one thing for you to be called. Yes. But it's quite another when God chooses yes. you out of Amen. that bunch. Yes. Amen. You can have a whole crowd of people. He yes. said, like, I choose you. You oh, was yes. talking about that cup earlier. Yes. Right. So you didn't want to be the cup that was in the cabinet. Yes. You wanted to be the one on the table that's oh, in yes. the use. Yes. And yes. that's that's the way we want to be. We want to be the, on the table oh, yes. being Amen. used by God. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's all about. Yes, I'm it is. Bring me back. I'm thinking, I know she know her play. Amen. Praise God. She told me. She let me know this is about the women. The path that you're going to go and all oh, this week I'm going to talk about the women. Amen. You have to reach those women today. Amen. Yes, Praise Lord. God. And if Elder? I could say something, I mean, it, like you were saying, um, Ephesians says, according to he hath chosen us in him. Mm -hmm. So when I look at called, chosen, prepared, and sent, mm -hmm. called to be a woman, mm -hmm. called to be a feminine, powerful, impactful mm -hmm. woman yes. of God. I'm yes. called to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're also, I've also been chosen. Mm -hmm. What have I been chosen to be a grandmama, to be mm -hmm. a, mo right. a mother, yes. to be a wife for 45 years? Yes. So I've been chosen. Now I'm being sent out uh -huh. mm -hmm. to tell other women you can make it. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. You can get up. Yes. It's not mm -hmm. how you fall, it's how you get back up. Amen. Yes. So, Amen. yeah, we've been chosen and we've been called and we've been sent out to tell you the real deal, to tell Amen. you that Christ has chosen mm -hmm. you yes. according to his will, not Amen. according to, Amen. and that he could take your past and yes. turn your past around mm -hmm. yes. and make all things work together for the good. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So that some other woman can say, hey, I can get back up. Yes, you can. You're going to make some mistakes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. You're going to make some mistakes being a wife. You're going to make some Amen. mistakes being a mother and a grandmother. But guess what? You can yes. get back up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You can get back up. Mm -hmm. It's not how you fall. It's how you get back up. Yes. So we're here to tell, tell women, for sisters, for listen, my mm -hmm. sister. 
you can get back up. Yes. yes. Dry your tears, cry if you have to. Yes. yes. You Amen. know, we've lost some things in our Ooh, lives. Jesus. We've Hallelujah. lost, you know, uh, some of some women are going through the empty nest syndrome and you mm -hmm. feel like, you know, I have no other purpose in life because my children are grown and I'm here by myself. Mm -hmm. God still has need of you. Yes. He mm -hmm. still has need of you. Yes. He still needs your testimony to tell Amen. other women Amen. you can get back up. Now. Amen. Yes. Yes. And this is your golden years. Amen. I know I'm in my Amen. 60s. This is my yes. golden years. Yes. yes. So yes. get back up now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know, I, I, I know they don't like to use that word, but mm -hmm. the words that he called the old. Yes. Because they know the way. They yes. know the way. <laughs> and the young mm -hmm. because they're strong. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know just like you were saying, you've been through it. God mm -hmm. has called you mm -hmm. yes. for so many different things in your life mm -hmm. and chosen mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. for so many other things. Yes. And now we have the responsibility mm -hmm. to be sent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Praise God. Yes. To be sent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is mm -hmm. the thing, I think that's where we're at now, right. yes. mm -hmm. Evangelist Mars. <laughs> I just want to say, I was looking at the call. Uh -huh. As women of God, he has He called us because we are valuable and we are worthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. As women of God in the ministry, he called us to come out from among them yes. mm -hmm. and be ye separated. Mm -hmm. And when he chose us, he chose us because he made us worthy yes. as women, because we are created in his image. Yes. Yes. And, and, but, and to be prepared. Mm -hmm. He pre prepared us yes. in our parents' womb yes. Yes. because he wanted us to go out and tell other women. He said, go ye therefore in all the world yes. and teach yes. all nations. Yes. We got to go pull those women in, oh, yes. teaching them yes. to be what God called them. Let them know that they're worthy. Let yes. them know that they God has prepared them mm -hmm. and they no longer have to sit with their head hung down all right. because they are prepared. Yes. And when he has prepared us, he said, those whom I call, I qualify, I mm -hmm. equip. Yes. Yes. So when he prepared us, yes. he sent us, mm -hmm. he had already equipped us mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. sisters for real yes. in Christ. Yes. Yes. And the blood yes. is still working in everybody. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Well, let me stop. Yes. Blood still works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just want to speak on that preparation. Uh -oh. You know, a lot of times so God call people and he choose them uh -huh. and they think they're supposed to run out there and start Come on working. Now, you don't. But you know what? There, there's a preparation yes. oh, yes. period. Oh, yes. You know, I look at Esther. Mm -hmm. When Esther was prepared, uh -huh. she it took a year. Yes. For them to prepare her yes. to go before the king, man. Yes. Yes. You know, and we think we ought to get saved one day and gone go on out there. Oh, yes. mm -mm. But we have to go through preparation. Mm -hmm. yes. And all of the things in our lives that we go through, yes. the heartaches, the pain, yes. the tears that we shed, mm -hmm. all those things are preparing Ooh, us Amen. for ministry. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, some, the one scripture said, endure hardness like a good soldier yes. of Jesus oh, yes. Christ. Oh, so yes. when you're going through this hardness, God is preparing you. Mm -hmm. yes. He's preparing you for what's ahead in ministry. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I was, we, we are getting, uh, we are here in the sub control room in here. Please, please deaden your mic, please. Thank you so much. Okay. You go ahead. Is that coming from here? Yeah, I think Kate is. Oh, I think she's talking to somebody okay. on the phone. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Your guest turned her camera off. Okay. Thank you so much. We can hear it. Praise, praise God. God. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. So, praise God. It's interesting what you were sharing there with us. Praise God. And being able to understand this. And I look, we were called before we was even born. Come on mm -hmm. now, say it. Mm -hmm. We think See, that we are doing something, mm -hmm. but it was something that God had already ordained. Already. A lot of times we don't fall and do the things that God right. called us to do. Amen. Because mm -hmm. everything that is in us, mm -hmm. he has already placed in us. Amen. Yes. From the very beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But now how much did we going to use it? Come on now. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Are we going to use those things and allow ourselves to be used? Sometimes mm -hmm. we use it for the wrong thing. Say it. Mm -hmm. Those gifts Amen. that God give us, he gave it to us for the purpose to glorify him. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so yes. often I hear even some of the guys, that uh, musician, B.B. King, mm. used to sing gospel. Mm -hmm. Right. Boy made his mind to sing blues because he got more money. 
when mm. he sang blues than when he, so he had to make Come a choice. Mm -hmm. But the gift came from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Elvis Presley sung more gospel than he did the rock, rock and roll. roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he had a choice to make. God That's did not right. take back his gift. Mm -mm. But the gift that each and every one of us have. Mm -hmm. To choose it, use the glory of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or to use it for ourselves. That's Amen. something we're going to have to make Amen. a decision. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And those that use it the way God gives us to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, praise God. Y'all good looking women. Y'all use y'all good looks when you were younger because you strutted your stuff. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And she's still blushing, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. strut it yourself, but now you use that beauty and that charm Strutting that God gave you. Yes. Uh, Come on now. Strutting for the Lord. <laughs> yes. mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. A lot of times, uh, well, I, I can't do nothing. I'm not able to do nothing. I'm not gifted. I don't have that title. You don't have to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Do what God I, told I, Moses. Stress forward with that. <laughs> that right. Amen. And I believe that I'm, none of us are saying that we're perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we mm -hmm. still. Yes. you know, go through. Yes. But yes. Still, we're transparent enough to tell other women, hey, I don't always get it right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and I think as when you hear the titles, uh -huh. you think, oh, they got it together. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. pastor over there. That's mm -hmm. a man. She's said, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. We still struggle. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, on this side of the struggle, we mm -hmm. have Christ Jesus Amen. Yes. as our advocate. Yes. We have a counselor mm -hmm. who counsels mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. day to day, yes. every day he's mm -hmm. counseling. And I like what you said, chosen. Mm -hmm. um, there was a time in my life I didn't feel like I was chosen. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, because how, how can you choose me? Uh -huh. You know, look at me. But. It wasn't about me. It was about purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need to understand. Even when we're talking to women, it's about purpose. Yes. He's not looking at, he's no respect of person. Amen. So he's not Amen. looking at none of us Amen. as if we're polished and, you know, because sometimes we present ourselves like that, like we all polished. Yes. And, you know, I can mm -hmm. show you what I want you to see. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, but Christ says, I see the heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a scripture where uh, David said, Lord created me a clean heart oh, yes. and yes. renew a right spirit in me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that means, Lord, you got to take this heart that I have right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's been diseased. It's yes. been hurt. It's yes. been, it's been hit by so yeah, much, Jesus. so much of life has damaged my heart, Lord. Yes. So the only way, and I had that prayer, yes. only way I can get a clean, you got to do it. Come yes. on, man. So that means you got to remove this out of me, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's got to take a spiritual surgery yes. to remove this heart out of me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You create it yes. because you're, you're the only one in this world that has a heavy, have a healthy heart, Lord. I don't know nobody else that has right. more Amen. of a healthy heart than mm -hmm. you do. Amen. So I'm going to the great physician. Yes. And that's what we have to create in me. Yes. A clean heart. Oh, yes. So even those that say, you know, I'm, I'm angry, I'm bitter. Mm-hmm. Ask the Lord. We're telling you, if you ask him to create in you a clean heart. Yes. Amen. Yes. Create it, Lord. Yes. And that's Jesus. powerful. Mm. Yes. You create it. Yes. Not me. Mm. Yes. And it's mm -hmm. not by your work. Yes. No. It's no. not by going to church every oh, no. Sunday. Oh, no. It's yeah, not by on, here now. if I pay this monetized. No, yeah. it ain't mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm the only one that can create. Yeah, come on now. Yes. Yes, Lord. Create yes. in yeah. me. Now that's a miracle Amen. all by itself. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a miracle all by itself to say, create in me a clean heart. And that's a part of sisters for real to tell other women he can create this right right mm -hmm. we're living testimony that he can create it Amen. do we got it per are we perfect no yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. not in no means perfect yes. mm -hmm. But we know how to go yeah. to the King of Kings Amen. and the Lord. Right. Amen. Right. And that's the thing about Amen. Being, being, being honest. It, that's yes. the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when you say, He that covers his sin shall not prosper. Mm -hmm. Right. Not that you got to go broadcast to everybody, mm -hmm. but right. Mm -hmm. Letting you know, and I, I love, not Paul is one of my favorites, but I love, you know, Peter too, because he was a, he was just straightforward. Mm -hmm. If Peter didn't do the things that he did, we would have something to draw. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. But even Paul was so honest as an apostle. Mm -hmm. He said, what I would do, mm -hmm. I do not what I do, mm -hmm. I do not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, this apostle writing all these books and getting still, he's struggling with his flesh. Come on now. But you know, sometimes I say, you know, I, I, I kid a lot, I like to get smiles. So but the thing is, sometimes I feel that we are so uptight. Come on now. Trying to live this thing in our righteousness as filthy mm. rags. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't care mm -hmm. how righteous mm -hmm. that we may 
perfect about Come the righteousness now, of Christ mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. But when we began to try to hide the real us uh, and try to look so dignified and look mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. and, Come on now. that you know they want people to look up to us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's not the spirit of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Go praise ahead. God. Go ahead. Peter, Amen. Peter. I, I, mean, I can't help. But we went to women, praise God. These women, praise God. How many times? People say, well, I'm a lady. I can't. That's a trick of the devil. The devil. Mm -hmm. the devil. In Say fact, it's more women on this earth and planet than it is men. Mm -hmm. So if all the women sat down and did nothing, where would we be? Where would we, where be? Would we be? <laughs> Through the history of time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. At the tomb, the Christ, who was the first mm -hmm. one that seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was with the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Praise God. And yet, and still, I know people have drawback for whatever reason is demonic. Mm -hmm. Because God created us all in Amen. the sight of God. We're all the sons of God. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Praise God. God. Now, we have to have the male and female because what we are in this present life. Amen. Reproductory and other things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. But to God, in his sight, we all the same. That's mm -hmm. right. And he uses Amen. All, and I know the young people you try to reach. Right. The young ladies. They have this problem. Probably been put down, kicked down, talked about. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know, I thank God for you because you are there to reach them. Mm -hmm. To let Amen. them know that this is not mm -hmm. the end. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. But this is the beginning. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And see, Amen. you are working with people with their beginnings. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. They may be the end of their rope or end mm -hmm. of their Mm -hmm. life that they feel right but you're there to show them you're just at the beginning baby yeah. 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 you like you want to say something minister? well you know I, I was thinking you know when you said that we want to talk about the women yes we're concerned about men too yes. amen but you know God gives us a specialty yes and I just think our specialty yes is women you know I was thinking about a physician mm -hmm. you know you have the heart mm. specialist yes. you have the uh ophthalmology, which is an mm -hmm. eye specialist, mm -hmm. you know, and you have uh, women doctors that do speci specifically deal with female issues. And, mm -hmm. but you know what? They can treat a common cold, yes. Amen. but their specialty is mm -hmm. the different areas that they specialize in. Yes. We can witness to men. Mm -hmm. We can, mm -hmm. we can yes. preach on different yes. things, yes. but our specialty mm -hmm. is women. That's mm -hmm. what God has put in our mm -hmm. heart. Yes. Oh, yes. and, and I think most important in, of anything when you're dealing with ministry is to find your place. Amen. Yes. Amen. Right. Yes. And, and get in your yes. lane. Yes. Because yes. God has called us yes. to run a race. Yes. Amen. And, and you know, when you run in that race, you got a lane you stay in. Yes. Come on now. And you got to stay in your yes. lane yes. and yes. do what God yes. has called you yes. to do. Amen. And that's the only way you can be effective. Yes. If yes. you stay in the lane God Amen. has called you yes. in. Amen. Oh, yes. and, and not try to, I think about what Paul said. Uh -huh. He said, you go, we're not going to leave waiting tables to go take care of the widows. <laughs> yes, right. find, find some men yes. full of the Holy Ghost yes, to yes, do that. Yes, right. He knew his place. Yes. Amen. His place was the word, yes. mm -hmm. giving himself to the word. Yes. And, and, and a lot of times we get out of our place Come trying to now. do everything, trying to wait tables, trying to preach. Ooh, and, you on. know, that's why we get burned out. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to stay in our land yes. Yes. Amen. and do what yes. God has called us. Yes. You know, that's what our, our founder and visionary yes. Uh, Minister Katie Hicks, yes. she teaches us, talks about that a lot, yes. finding right. your lane yes. and staying in your lane. Yes. Yes. So, uh, you know, that's interesting. You said, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm just getting ready to say we definitely can't run uh -huh. ahead. Mm -hmm. of, of uh, before God say go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And I tell people, I don't move unless the Holy Spirit said move. Mm -hmm. All right. All because right. I did that made a mistake and moved and God didn't tell me to go. Uh -huh. And it didn't end so well. Yes. So we can't go before our time like Minister Anita said. We have to wait on God yes. to tell us to go. Yes. Because when he tell us it's an anointing on mm -hmm. it. Oh, yes. When we minister to men and women, yes. there's an anointing on yes. it. Yes. And God would give us in that moment yes. mm -hmm. what to say to yeah. each and every that's why she said we got to stay in our lane yeah. and wait on God mm -hmm. yes. what she's equipped to do yes. I may not be equipped to exactly. do mm -hmm. what uh, Elder Shelley is is equipped to do I may not be equipped to do so mm -hmm. we have to stay in our lane exactly Pray God mm -hmm. amen and you know I, I, I understand it and sometimes our lane everybody don't understand it right and sometimes we look at the accolade the okay from this one and somebody okay for that one mm -hmm. no one knows but that person should Amen. know. Mm -hmm. I know a guy that God, uh, he's going on now, that God gave me to work close with men. Mm -hmm. All kinds of young men. 
they started little things that he was gay. He mm. was just that because that was something enemy were trying to throw in there. Right. Mm -hmm. To try mm -hmm. to stop him. Mm -hmm. Or those that work with children had to be very careful. Right. Was it a pedophile? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Did the enemy have a way to fight mm -hmm. against you? Yes. Now yes, believe it or do. not, for some reason I've always had a lot of women mm -hmm. in the ministry. Mm -hmm. That's why I can reach out because I mm -hmm. know the struggle right. mm -hmm. that they have. Mm -hmm. Amen. And a lot of times I didn't go ask for that. I thought it was something else. That's why mm -hmm. I got y'all here again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, the thing is because sometimes some of the most beautiful women in the world mm -hmm. have problem, inferior complexes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel because they look good and they built so forth and so mm -hmm. forth, they're perfect. They are some of the most insecure. Yes. Insecure. Amen. Yes, Where does it come are. from? It comes because they're peer pressure. Mm -hmm. People, because you look a certain way, you should be doing this. Mm -hmm. You look the way you should be doing that. Right. And we began to listen to what people say mm -hmm. and not see what God, God says. Purpose he had for us here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can say with a heart, I think it was 11 women that uh, when I was pastor in Cincinnati mm -hmm. that was under my ministry. Three of them was pastors. Mm -hmm. I know the struggle they have. Mm -hmm. I know they're not yet accepted, even in some areas that they said they're accepted. Come on now. There's Amen. still yeah. dual rules for it. Mm -hmm. But being yes, honest, we're not just one on one. Mm -hmm. You're still, that's a woman. Mm -hmm. That's right. a man. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, and I usually go pull out things. I know that's your job to do a lot. Pull mm -hmm. things out. Some of them are surprised because they've been taught wrong. Amen. I said, do you Amen. know it was a woman that actually ruled in Israel? Yeah, their eyes get big. What? Mm -hmm. What about Deborah? Mm -hmm. That's who I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly. And so a lot of times we, because of our lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. these young people, they're listening to what young ladies even, they're pressed down, put down, ah, you know, I ain't, mm -hmm. I can't do what a man do. No, you can't do what a man, but you can still do what God called, called you, to you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, go ahead. And I was just going to say, Bishop Norton, you know, as women, uh -huh. When God called us to the ministry, mm -hmm. our first ministry is at home. Right. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of times yes. there is a balancing act okay. that you have to do to balance out ministry with home life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And me being called to ministry doesn't mean I don't submit to my husband right. That's right. And, and follow what I need to do yeah. at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, <laughs> Praise God. Praise Finally God. you come alive. Come on. You gotta jump in there. So so we have to we have to find that balancing act. She can she can she can carry that on for Yes. Me. Well you can speak, we're listening. Minister Hicks. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was, that that is close to my heart, Bishop. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to to know the balance that our first ministry is at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our first ministry is with our husbands and with our children. And then we wait on the Lord to call us out. But before we can go out, it has to be okay with our husbands. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because it's a miserable <laughs> feeling to be out trying to do what God has called you to do. And your Amen. husband mm -hmm. is not behind Come you, on pushing That's you, true. cultivating the gift of God that's mm. in you. Yes. That's a miserable feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we that, that is the heart of our Friday night. They haven't talked about yet the dates of the conference. Uh, and where the conference is, and I'm going to leave that to those ladies. But I, I do want to say, if, if I may, that, that Friday night, uh, June the 23rd, that Friday night at 7 p.m., we're having a, a, a toss the mic, and, and it's in our hearts to have a husband and wife ministry team to ministry, minister on Ephesians, uh, the, the chapter, I think it's four or five, when it's talking about the husbands and the wives, how the wives should be to their husbands and how the husband should be to the wife. But that husband has got to cultivate that gift in the wife. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, got, he's got to set her up after God has called her and, and okay her to go out and minister. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be her support. Mm -hmm. undergird her. Mm -hmm. But not only that, but the wife has to do the same for the for the mm -hmm. husband. She has to mm -hmm. push her husband. She has to stand by her husband and tell him, come on, baby, when things get hard, you can do it. Mm -hmm. We can do this. Mm -hmm. I got your back. Yes. I got your back. And the Holy Ghost has got us, got us both. Yes. So uh, 
I'm going to be quiet and give it back to the ladies. I'm sorry. Right, you're right. And, you know, and, and, and get rid of that competitive issue. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest problems is and a lot of times men listen to the TV and other social media mm -hmm. and they respond to men, women like mm -hmm. they shouldn't. But I said when a man, the word of God right. said, I know my wife and mine obeyed me. You know why? <laughs> Because she knew I loved her. Right. Mm -hmm. And if a man loved the woman as Come Christ on loved Come the on church, mm -hmm. I'll leave you quiet. Go ahead. No, I, I just <laughs> want to say uh, that was my struggle when I got married. Yes. I felt like my husband couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> but then when I kind of mellowed out, uh -huh. And I began to study mm -hmm. with him right there. And he would say, what you doing? I said, I'm preparing a message. And he would want to listen to it. Uh -huh. And then after that, things just began to just pan out. He would always be there. And then words I didn't know, big words, yes. he began to say, okay, what, what is that, Marcia? Uh -huh. And then I would tell him, and then he put his input in, and you know, so things begin to pan out. So yeah. I understand what uh, Pastor Katie is saying. Yeah. Things just have a way of working out when you include your husband. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So it, it's communication. Yes. Yeah. That's the most important thing. We talk about communication all the time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's effective. Right. communication, communication. Mm -hmm. and, and I miss mine and I'm big time because see yeah. she was not the person who was jealous mm -hmm. she was the person she knew my ministry yeah she knew I could talk exactly. to her and ladies I mean they would come to her and say I don't know how you stand all those women up in your husband's face all the time <laughs> but her come back she's but I know my husband right he loved God too much but the things he do help people to come out come on now. because you know a lot of times people come with you what they think they want you to hear right or project mm -hmm. but it's not you but you have to have the skill that God give you right to make that person come out the real come on now. and when they get tired of pretending and finally they tell you to really it's now we're getting somewhere yes mm -hmm. yes yeah well I want to say this too on the on the other side where I've ran into a whole lot of women and I've been that woman yes we are you're in the church, but you're still married to your husband, but he's not. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says if you choose to stay with him, you can. But mm -hmm. the thing I tell women, still be that wife. Mm -hmm. Still be that godly yes. wife. Yes. Because, you know, you can get a lot of teaching from a lot of bitter women mm -hmm. who will just say, God is using you, baby. Don't worry about him. You know, da, 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 da. <laughs> still keep your house clean. Amen. Uh, still be Amen. there. Yes. Treat your husband with respect. Yes. Love him the way Christ loved the church also for the women. Mm -hmm. And be a woman. Yes. Don't Come try on, to allow, you know, I see so many women trying to be the head of the house. Yes. Come on now. You are not the head. He mm -hmm. has an order. Yes. Amen. He yes, has he an order. Mm -hmm. And God he is does. not a God of confusion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care how much words you know, you better know the word to Come submit. On now. You yes. better know that word oh, too because yeah. that's in the Bible too. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of women that well, my husband, you know, he's not where I want him to be. That's not that, your call. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's, that's not, not your call. God's yes. business. God will, if you just keep being the godly woman that God mm -hmm. has called you to be. Yes. You know, he's going to pull them in because okay. he said, love and kindness have I drawn you unto this. myself. Right. Yes. So when we as women just be women, yes. mm -hmm. you know, so on the other side of that, you know, I see a lot of women just, I ain't got to submit to him because, mm -hmm. you know, he ain't in the Lord. He ain't. No, that's not that's God's not, call. Not, no. That's nope. not God's call. That's mm -mm. not the way he called it. Right. Nope. So the more and more we love them, yes. we love the men. We, yes. are, we, we celebrate the men. Yes. We go home, we cook. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, there's times when, and one thing I love with my pastor where he says, um, he has this order, Apostle mm -hmm. Anton Sampson. Uh -huh. He has an order. He says, God first, mm -hmm. then your family, mm -hmm. then the church. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I hadn't heard that you know, from other ministries I was under, mm -hmm. it was like, what? So if I call and I say, pastor, I can't be there today because you know, my husband, he loves to travel. Yes. And my husband's the very spontaneous traveler. Yes. So my husband wants to do such and such, be there for your husband. Yes. And see, mm -hmm. that's good because what you're doing is you're planting good seeds. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're keeping that relationship yes. cultivated. Yes. But when mm -hmm. you come up against a marriage, mm -hmm. right? and there's a lot of women that know that their marriages have been compromised because it's like, okay, the church is over here and my marriage is what, mm -hmm. which one do I choose? Mm -hmm. Well, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Come Lord. Come on now. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, that means whatever God tells me to do with my yes. husband, yes. I am mm -hmm. to, to submit unto, yes. I'm old school. Yes. So you submit unto that husband. Yes. And I believe that's where a lot of things we're going to bring out on Friday. 
uh, to submit. Yes. Right. And yes. it's not a bad word. Yes. You submit yes. unto your husband as unto the Lord. Yes. Amen. So you know whatever you do in word and deed, you're doing it as unto the Lord. Yes. If I'm cleaning that house, I'm doing it as unto mm. the Lord. Amen. If I'm cooking that food, I'm doing if I'm changing those diapers, yes. I'm doing, doing it as, as to the Lord. the Lord. It's not that you lost your value. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Or you as a worth. woman well, in your worth, you don't yes. lose your value yeah. and your worth yeah. because you're doing it as unto the Lord. Oh, amen. And when I stand before the Lord, I'm going to have to stand before him on mm -hmm. how I treated my husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you love him? Yes. Did you love him unconditionally? Mm -hmm. did you, but the more I see God drawing him, mm -hmm. yes. the more, more God increases. I decrease and yes. go, Lord, mm -hmm. do what you need to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. do well, the husband is sanctified through the wife. Exactly. Amen. Yes. Right the through the husband. So you got to. Yes. And our sons need to see that. Yes. And our daughters need to see yes. that. The family unit has mm -hmm. got to come back yes. mm -hmm. where we, but we do it in the church. We're the representative mm -hmm. of the family yes. union. Uh -huh. So if it's messed up in the church, mm -hmm. how are we going to tell the world something? Amen. If we're yes. out of order. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, right. if we're out of order, yes. if you're in the church all day and half time you at home, mm -hmm. how are you going to preach to me yes. when you're not even in your own house? Yes. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't care if you got to snuggle up on that couch with them mm -hmm. and watching the game like I don't even like basketball <laughs> and football. <laughs> but pretend like you like it, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> but to spend time with that yeah. man yeah. of God or, yeah. or spend and still call him a man of God. Because right. right. God said, I still got purpose for him. Amen. Yeah. So I say that to the women. So, OK, I hear y'all talking about men, but my husband ain't even. Honey, let me tell you what God mm -hmm. can do. I got a testimony yes. for you to tell you what God can do. Yes. And he'll do it all by himself. Mm -hmm. He said, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by, by my, my spirit, spirit mm -hmm. said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Praise the power. Amen. When you acknowledge him, he'll show you how. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. He will show you he'll how. He'll show you. Yes, mm -hmm. But when we start looking at the wisdom of men, mm -hmm. yes. Come now, on now. that's where the confusion comes. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we start working psychology, I, I studied psychology. Mm -hmm. I was in behavior science. But when it comes to reality, mm -hmm. yes. come on now. Mm -hmm. it's not real. It has a basis that they go by, a social norm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But only God can teach you how to really love. Come yes. on now. Praise mm -hmm. God. I've had people that ask me to come to me and said, uh, lady said, I'm going to get married, but I don't want you to say all those things that the preacher, y'all, you know what y'all, I know right away what they want to say. They don't want to, you know, mm -hmm. love, honor, and, and obey. obey. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 that is bad word to them, but you yes. know something? Like I said, when the true and the pure love is in there, it's not hard. Come on now. And as you right. said, Elder, when you put yourself there, mm -hmm. and I can say I had a great model. My wife was great at that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But I don't tell everybody to do the things that we did. That's and, right. Because they can't do it. That's right. And I've said many times, I might have told y'all one time, my wife would look at me and say, oh, those guys from India, the, the dad looked just as good as the son. <laughs> I'm going to India. I mean, to us, yes, we talk those ways. Yeah. We could talk, yeah. everybody, I don't tell everybody, right. everybody can't do that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, when you get to know mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. that you're with, yes. mm -hmm. when you get to know and understand those type mm -hmm. of things, mm -hmm. and we were friends before we were anything else. Yes. And when you can come That's to be right. a friend first. Come on now, well, y'all, truth. I know you remember my wife. Yes, Praise yes. God. You know, it, it's something that Bishop Wilk uh, had said earlier that I thought about. And he said something uh, uh, concerning uh, one of his favorite things. I dare, double dare, dog dare you, praise <laughs> God, to do certain things. But all the children that he had, mm -hmm. and he had such a beautiful relationship, even when his wife passed, she still loved her husband. She asked him for permission to mm -hmm. die. You remember that? Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, I mean, he said, husband, I'm tired of suffering. Please let me go. Mm -hmm. Let me ask the Lord to take mm -hmm. me home. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I'm talking about, we have some choice. A lot of times people feel like it's not so. But mm -hmm. we have realistic people Come that are living man. real lives, mm -hmm. not so caught up. Mm -hmm. But like you said, you are examples that you can yes. show. Mm -hmm. yes. You can not only tell something, but you can share. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of times the girls, and they probably hit me on the, and some other girls, young girls, they would always ask my wife, we want somebody like daddy. Mm -hmm. And I answered him, but you're not like me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it takes a development. Everybody That's wants right. somebody or right. reaction to see what's going on, but they don't know what's going on in your relationship. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It really takes, and I, I, I am so happy, we do not have enough programs. Mm -hmm. 
of women reaching out to women. Amen. Or even men reaching out, because I'm working with the group that men are reaching out to men. Mm -hmm. We're at that time. Mm -hmm. And when you were saying something, I think years ago, I was taking a, a, a course study in behavior science, not, not, not behavior science, uh, modern management, University of Maryland. And what I learned was this. Mm -hmm. Business, government, everything starts with the family. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. The church. Mm -hmm. It starts with the family. The charity begins and the at home. enemy is doing everything he can do today to destroy yes. the Amen. family. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, he is. We yes. wonder why government's failing. We wonder why yes. churches are failing. All parts of society is failing because the devil has attacked mm -hmm. the family. Amen. And like you say, we used to eat at the table together. Yeah. Now oh, Johnny yeah. up there Pray and together. the one in the back. And mm -hmm. That form of division that yes. it, it's a trick of the enemy. Yes, so you is. know where your battle is. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a spiritual weakness in high places right. mm -hmm. to come to take away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And yes. I thank God you were, uh, I think Minister Kate was talking about something else that you're going to come on that Friday night mm -hmm. for young people when you're in Columbus coming up. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. So that's with men and women yes. in the service. So uh, men get to hear a little bit of what women are saying. Yes. And, you know, those are nuggets. So that's for men and women, right? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. yes. That's a good thing. Because we got to go back to the foundation. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Yes. And if there's a crack in the foundation, the house is going to cave in. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. So oh, yes. he's just like, go back to the foundation. Yes. Go back to the mm -hmm. old landmark. Amen. Yes. Take them back yes. there. Yes. You yes. know the way. Yes. Yeah. You know, we act mm -hmm. like we got to make another trail. Mm -hmm. God said, you know the yeah. way. I've already mm -hmm. prepared yes. the yes. way. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. You know, a lot of them, and the thing is, I have to share, because a lot of the older mm -hmm. made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And some of the younger are trying to follow through because they don't know why and what they did. Mm -hmm. But the positive and the right thing they have to follow, because sometimes people follow things ignorantly. Mm -hmm. And I Amen. said to them, like, <laughs> it's so funny to me. This is a lady, she was a great cook in the South. Everybody tried to cook like her. But this one thing, she always cut off one end of her roast yeah. when she put it in the pot. Mm. And one girl, they start cutting the end of their roast off, not knowing, but that's, she was a great cook, so they were trying to follow what she did. <laughs> Finally, somebody decided to ask her, why is it you cut one end of your roast off? Does that make it cook better? She said, no, honey, I didn't have a pan big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, <laughs> isn't that the way we've been in the church? Exactly. Right. We've just been following along and not just following the minister. Right. We don't know why we're doing what we're doing. Come we're on just now. doing it. Yes. You know, right. and that's why God has been showing us to study. Yes. Mm -hmm. To show ourselves approved yes. unto him. Amen. Get in that word for yourself. Come on yes. now. You know, Paul said, follow me as I follow, follow Christ. Christ. Exactly. Now. You know, we have to know when somebody done veer it off the way yes. the, uh, and then the, don't keep on following them off the road oh, yes. Amen. you yes. know uh, but it, it, it is a beautiful yes. thing it is a beautiful thing mm -hmm. in Christ and you know what I think about often that all of the things that I've been through in my life mm -hmm. are tools in my toolbox yes. right that I might meet somebody and I have to pull out one of those tools to, yes. to help them get back on right. track. Exactly. You know, and, and that's the way I look at my life experiences exactly. as tools in my toolbox. Yes. Yeah, we got our we got our weapons, which is in God's word. Right. But your experiences are your tools in your toolbox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like overseeing a lot now, but I, mm -hmm. even with the men. Mm -hmm. And this elder, he's older than I was, mm -hmm. but I was his pastor. Mm -hmm. But he would always speak harshly to his wife mm -hmm. across the pulpit and tell her, be quiet and shut up. Ooh. Jesus. Praise God. And uh, mm -hmm. one time I called him into the office. No. I didn't want I didn't want to shame him either, mm -hmm. destroy him either. But I called him in my office. I said, you don't do that to your wife. And I went so many reasons until mm -hmm. he stopped and looked at me. He said, you know, ain't nobody never told me that. Mm -hmm. He said, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have to, some people are following what they heard others well, say. Come mm -hmm. on now. The man said, they went down to the pool room mm -hmm. and they told him how mm -hmm. they treat their wife. You go home and try to treat his wife mm -hmm. like the man at the pool hall right. said. Mm -hmm. Praise God, a little 100 pound man, 115 pound man. Mm -hmm. And the guy at the pool hall said, you, go, you need to whoop her behind and straighten mm -hmm. her out. He didn't know he had a 400 pound <laughs> wife at home. Go right ahead. <laughs> Can I plug our um, conference coming up? 
Yes. I was just getting ready. I've been trying to. I've been trying to say it. You well, we we you used to talk to about it at the end. Yeah. Well, you go ahead. Go ahead, Sister Marsh. Oh, I was going. Okay, our conference is going to be. This is Save the Day card. So yes. for real, Titus Two Women Ministry Conference date Friday, June the twenty third, twenty twenty three, and Saturday, June twenty fourth, twenty twenty three. And our location will be the Marriott Hotel Airport location. And it is located at 1375 North Cassidy Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43219. Mm -hmm. And for more information, contact Anna Bernie, 937-263-5851. And Anita Ward, 614-886. Three three five zero or Katie Hicks eight five zero five three zero five seven six two. Well, but our conference includes um, breakfast on on Friday morning, uh -huh. and it includes breakfast on Saturday morning and lunch on Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. God, and you know, and, and you know, the thing is, I guess what I want to also reiterate. We just stretch the surface mm -hmm. on some of the subjects that you can talk about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you are there going, being able to go in more detail. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yes. We just send some of the things that we can come mm -hmm. out of. Mm -hmm. We can in the way in that those people at home that know in attendance, they only hear what we say. Because mm -hmm. we, we have just a limited time to talk about these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. But then get more details, mm -hmm. how to go about it to have a successful relationship, mm -hmm. a successful marriage, a successful family. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also on Saturday, um, Anita mentioned tools, the toolbox. Uh -huh. We're going to have a panel of women. So uh -huh. they're like those toolbox, those tools. Yes. Each woman, each woman is coming from a different uh, subject. Mm -hmm. So those tools are going to help you. Because some of them are going to be hammers. Some of them are going to yeah. be some saws. Uh -huh. Some Screws. of them are going to be some drills. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. But yet still, they're needed uh -huh. to put mm -hmm. you together. Because yeah. anytime you get ready to put something together, yes. you got to have the right tools. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, we're going to have a panel of different women coming from a different perspective of life. Amen. Mm -hmm. But yet still, Christ being the center. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that. So you're going to bring your tool belt? Bring your tool belt. All right. And you're going to show them something about a hammer they never knew. Come on. <laughs> you're going to show them how to use that drill like they never seen. Know. Come on now. Praise God. You got the ingenuity. <laughs> that, new, that, that, that revelation they're talking yeah. about. Amen. See, you know, we have a lot of things, but it's not been revealed. Come on now. Say mm -hmm. it. You can carry a tool and never know how to use it. Say never it. Never know how to use it. Praise God. But y'all going to show them how to use it. You mm -hmm. got that right. Man, look out. They're going to show these women <laughs> how to use these tools. Mm -hmm. So I know, you know, coming near the end of the uh, production today and I'm so glad again that you're with us and uh, Columbus is not that far just right up the road for mm -hmm. those that right. are local. Nowhere is too far for the information that you're going to share that Amen. will last your lifetime. Mm -hmm. I used to travel to Columbus every morning when I went to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could drive from East Liberty 80 miles one way just to go to work. That is just money. Mm -hmm. Money spent but you're offering something more valuable mm -hmm than money, that money yeah. more viable mm -hmm. than food mm -hmm. Amen. because they give us a peace and understanding mm -hmm. and so we thank God and I, I, I like I said I'm gonna let each one of you give me your final summary and take about a minute uh, a summary about what you want to say we thank God we just stretch stuff because you know I like to talk about anything <laughs> but the Word of God is so rich mm -hmm. and talking and releasing getting a person to share that's the most Amen. important thing because as long as we uptight, we can't think to share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might even say something funny, just break the ice, but just to get you to realize we right. started. Guess what? Since we started with you, we're going to go back to Marcy first. Good. And then we're going to come back and let you have the last <laughs> thing you. I in the summer. That. God bless. <laughs> Minister. I, I just want to say this has very been enlightening. So I just want to say, you know, a lot of times when we feel so uptight, we have allowed the enemy to put a stone in our way yes. so that we can't open like God want us to open. So I think that's what we want the women 
to shake, rattle, and roll okay. and shake them stones loose yes. so they can pop out of their mouth so they can begin to praise God at the conference. We're looking for women praising God. We're looking for women that God can set free. We're looking for women that God's going to shake some stuff up. All right. Even Amen. get their home together. Yes. So I just want to say thank God for Sisters for Real. Thank God for our visionary. We just thank God for the conference. I see evangelism there. You evangelist, aren't you? <laughs> Anything God want me to be, I'm, I'm that woman. I hear you. Thank Thank you yeah. When the right time come, I'll be a wife to somebody. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I just pray that, you know, um, you know, I was just thinking when we were talking about the tools, so many times in life we duct tape stuff up. Yeah. And we think it's going to hold. And sometimes the duct mm -hmm. tape comes so pretty. Yes. But we don't, you know, I'm just telling the women, you don't have to duct tape up anything else. Right. We have the tools so that you can keep you together, yeah. keep you together so you can become one mm -hmm. in Christ. And that's the whole go goal. Amen. So you can be whole. Yes. So Amen. that when life leans on you, you won't break. Come on now. You know what Amen. I mean? Yes. You won't break because you'll be on the sure foundation, which mm -hmm. is Christ Jesus. Yes. So that's all we're saying to you. You ain't Amen. got to ghetto fight yeah, nothing Jesus. else in your life. Come on now, amen. You ain't got to ghetto fight no more. No, no, mm -mm. No. When Christ sets you free, you're free, free indeed. indeed. Amen. So that's all. Praise God, and amen. also Minister amen. Hicks, your final word and summary. Well, I just want to invite the ladies out, our sisters out uh, in June to Columbus, Ohio, the Marriott Airport location. 1375 Cassidy Avenue is Avenue of Boulevard. Uh, that is June 23rd, uh, Friday morning session uh, for the ladies. Friday night, a corporate service for men, women, boys, and girls. And then Saturday morning, uh, June the 24th. And then also we have a Saturday afternoon session. We have three women ministering on Friday morning. We have uh, six women ministering on Saturday, three in the morning and three in the afternoon. Some of our own, our own are gonna be ministering. So come out, come out. And if you have any questions, just remember those numbers. And we thank you so much. And you must say, praise God, if she can drive all the way from Florida, mm -hmm. I guess she's sincere about this woman for Christ. Because mm -hmm. minister, Hicks going to drive all the way from Florida to be a part of this. Is that correct? Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. So Amen. anybody Amen. else that's an example. Amen. Nowhere is too far. All right, Mr. Uh, Lord. <laughs> well, I was going to conclude with, by giving the information, but um, our gracious uh, visionary has already given the information. But I'd just like to say to any woman who feel like they're all alone, mm -hmm. feel like nobody understands or knows what you're going through. Amen. Yes. Uh, you will be with a group of women mm -hmm. who will love you. Amen. Who will put salve on the on those wounds? Yes. Praise ah, God. On, will pray with you. Yes. Will love on you. Yes. And let you know that you are not alone. Amen. Amen. Not only is God here with you, yes. we're gonna be here with Come you. On now. Yes. We just want to show you love. Yes. We just want you to know the, the Savior that we know. Amen. Right. The one that has picked us up when we were down. Yes. The yes. one that has put staff on our wounds. Come on, now. Amen. Yes. Amen. And let you know that we're though even though we're not perfect, yes. we've learned some things from our Amen. Our, our problems in Amen. life Amen. that we want Amen. to share with you. Amen. Because yes. we Amen. want to see everyone made whole. Amen. 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 The word of God said, when you have been strengthened, go and strengthen your brother. Your brother. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for each one of you again. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And each one of you tune in today, we thank you. We trust you get something out of this lesson. And don't hold back. Call one of the numbers that was on the stream. One of these women, praise God, and they will get you the information how to get to Columbus for this great occasion that changed the life of you and your family. God bless you. May heaven smile on you is our prayer.